sibling rivalry. Hi everybody, welcome to Week Blue Talk. It's Week here. Uh, today is a funny one. We're going to talk about sibling rivalry in a relationship, in a family. You know, it's something that I've seen, I have noticed, and it's something nobody really talks about. It's one of those areas in life where we assume it's going to go away, but it never goes away unless we deal with it. Sweeping it under the carpet would never help us. So today, <laughs> I'm going to talk about it. Why am I talking about it today? When I read The Manual of Life, a story that we're all familiar with for those who, who read it, it said about how siblings hated another sibling because of the love the father had for him and they connived to kill him. And they eventually sold him up for slavery into another country and told the parents that the, the guy died. And I'm going to talk, this sibling rivalry series will have that story. Just remember that story because I'm going to talk along with it and I'm going to tell, explain to you a few things about that story. And it got me thinking how parents, especially in Africa, where sibling rivalry is probably a result of jealousy among the siblings, envy, or hatred, because either one child was favored more than the other child, or more than the other children, or one child is loved because they're prettier, because they're handsome more than everybody else, or one child is just loved because of their kind heart. It brings a lot of resentment between the kids, especially where the parents don't know how to handle that situation or don't know how to treat it. Because uh, you, would, you would have seen, especially in Africa, where, where a child is a financial guru, the parents seem to look at and worship that child and the rest of the other kids are ignored. Or where the child is the highest one that gives more, more love is then given to that child. And so there is resentment. And how does that come out? It comes out where, when the parents need something, the kids always go, oh, well, you were the one who was favored. Why aren't you taking care of it? Or I am doing so and so more for my parents than you are. So why is everybody not? With all that brings a lot of resentment between one another and hatred. And if care isn't taken, when we grow up, the tendency is we're gonna treat our kids exactly the same way in which we were treated when we were young. Probably the parents in, in, in my father's generation and my mother's generation did it because they didn't know any better, because they didn't know any different. Their fathers didn't teach them any different. So they saw that and they copied. And I think our generation, we know a lot more. We see a lot more. We understand a lot more. Some of us would have been uh, would have suffered <laughs> from it. Other people would have weaknessed it. But we all know it is not nice. And so knowing that it's not nice and not doing anything about it doesn't really help anybody. But actually dealing with a problem, we would notice that it's not an issue that you can easily move away. Most of the, I was reading someone, a research shows that two-thirds of most families actually suffer from severe sibling rivalry. And I thought, wow, 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 wow. And the only time siblings will meet is when there is a funeral or it's when there's somebody's birthday. You just want to tick, I would say, tick your name to send that happy birthday wish. And after that, you really don't have any relationship with your siblings. And that is not the best place for me and you to be. If we see ourselves, if we know that we're doing it, it's time for us to actually look at the whole situation and become the bigger, bigger people and deal with it differently and deal with it better. God wasn't stupid to have all of you as siblings in one family. Probably a parent, the parents would have made an error raising you up. Does not necessarily mean we should continue in that mindset, in that way. We know differently. We do differently. We knew it then and the problems we encounter was based on the limited knowledge that we had then. Now that we know differently, what are we doing differently? 
How is that relationship enhanced? Because of what we know now, or we cannot be bothered. You know, if you cannot be bothered, guess what? It will suffer. You'll go back to your children. Sometimes we do things in life not because we really want to, but you're looking at the next generation. You want to plant a good seed. You want the seed to, to grow and bear good fruits. And it starts with you. It starts with me. Let's look into our families and see how we're treating our siblings and see how some of that, by so doing, we have not had relationships with the siblings' children because you're not close for one reason or the other. It is time for us to rise up and look at the world differently. Because the seed we're planting is a seed of divide. Let us be united. Come together. Work in one. We're all human beings who've made mistakes in the past. We're all human beings. Nobody's an island. Knowing that, let's do differently. Because we now know differently. Love cost us nothing. It was never a mistake that you were put in the same family. Find out why you all are siblings and bring the best out of each of you. For us to do that, me and you need to dig deep and become the better person. The next topic I'll be talking about is how do we, what do we have to do? What steps do we need to take? And how our parents have made that mistake. And now some of us, in our generation are repeating exactly what our parents did. We can see that in the way we talk to our children. We can see that how we have favored one child better than another. Let us stop. Do different. Because we know now different. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Stay with us. Check our website. Follow us on social media. And do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.